This is January 05, A21, Module 4, and this is question 3. The radius of a washing machine is 22 centimetres. On the spin dry cycle, it rotates at a maximum rate of 1200 revolutions per minute. The drum is pierced with a large number of small holes through which droplets of water from the wet washing emerge when the machine is operating. Show that the rate of rotation of 1200 revolutions per minute is equal to an angular velocity of about 130 radians per second. Show you're working out. So the frequency is going to be 1200 over 60, 60 seconds, which gives you 20 hertz. And then omega is equal to 2 pi f, which equals 2 pi times 20. So the answer therefore is um, 40 pi radians per second, or that works out to be 125.7 or 130 to two significant figures, three significant figures. Reading S to the minus one. Calculate the centripetal force acting on the water droplet of mass 0.015 grams at the surface of the drum when the drum is rotating at 1200 reps per minute. So we've already got the angular frequency when it's rotating at 1200 revolutions per minute. Um, so F equals M R omega squared. M is 0 0.015 by 10 to the minus 3. Just watch that. Um, the radius of the drum is 22 centimetres, so that's by 10 to the minus 2. And that's multiplied by 125.7 squared. That gives you an answer of 0 0.052 newtons. So there's 0 0.052 newtons of force acting on a water droplet when it's rotating at that speed. Part C. When the drum is rotating at its maximum rate, um, so its maximum rate is 1200 revolutions per minute, the drop passes through a hole in the drum rather than continuing to rotate with the washing in the drum. Figure 3.1 shows the rotating drum and the droplet which has just emerged from the drum. The droplet has a zero velocity relative to the drum. On figure 3.1, sketch the direction of the initial velocity of the droplet after it has passed through the hole relative to the stationary casing of the washing machine. So since it's rotating in that direction already, it's going to go like that. And so we'll call it V. The centripetal force on the droplet is provided mainly by friction between the water and the clothes in the machine. Assume that this frictional force is constant, so we know that that frictional force has got a value of 0.052 newtons maximum. Because we've calculated that in part B. The rate of rotation of the drum in the spin cycle is reduced to 800. Determine whether or not the droplet of mass 0.015 grams in B and C will emerge when the drum is rotating at this rate. Show and explain your calculation carefully. So first thing we want to do is calculate omega again, it's 2 pi f, and this time f is going to be um, 800 divided by 60, 800 revolutions in a minute. f is equal to mr omega squared, and that gives you 0 0.015 by 10 to the minus 3 again because it's in grams. Radius is um, 22 centimetres, so that's 22 by 10 to the minus 2 and we're multiplying by our new angular velocity 100 over 60 squared um, so that gives you 0.023 newtons so that water droplet needs 0.023 newtons to stay in the drum or to stay in circular motion so drop needs F equals 0.03 newtons to stay in circular motion at 800 reps per minute. And of course, since maximum amount of friction is 0.052 newtons, then drop stays in as it only needs 0.052, sorry, 0.023, I should have said, 0.023 newtons from our calculation. 
In earlier models of washing machines, the maximum rate of rotation of the drum cycle was on the spin cycle was 800 revolutions per minute. Give a physical reason why the increase in maximum rate of revolution in modern machines is a good selling point, and it is of course that the clothes are drier when they come out. So the clothes are drier when spinning faster or spun faster, i.e. at 800, at 1200 revolutions per minute compared to 800.